Uh, hi everyone, so for those who do not know, I've just met the channel. Uh, for a time, I've been working on my own little language. But f then, uh, that was in February, March 2021. Uh, and then I shelved it for a year. Uh, I didn't work on it at all for that time. I've had other things on my mind. So here, I'm going to summarize some of the characteristics of the language and of course the sounds, you know, e, a, e, e, o, m, m, f, p, t, k, s, f, h, x, u, r, g, h, and a throttle stop. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 sounds, which is less than the Latin alphabet has. But the yeah, sounds are intended to be very similar, <coughs> very similar to uh, English and Dutch. Uh, but it does have a much simpler syntax or grammar uh, for plural words and verb tenses that are just two models and no irregularities. Uh, use the same word order as uh, English. Uh, it actually uses suffixes and prefixes to determine if objectives and adverbs are opposite. They're superlative and they're comparative. Uh, so the entire language is based around efficiency and simplicity. Uh, and I'll never truly finish it. One day it will go enough to be able to create a dictionary. I don't know when. Uh, but if you want more information you can watch the original video right around there. So that's it for right now. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.